All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Office. And I've, I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time. And uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is because of all of Joe Biden's gun control policies, I think that this is the most dangerous of all. Now, I agree. They're, they're are all ridiculously stupid. Uh, you've got uh, the banning of sales of ammunition and parts and pieces online or mail through the mail. What are you going to do with those people who live all the way out there in Alaska that they got to travel thousands of miles, Joe, to get their ammunition? Now, this is only in the event that he actually wins the uh, overall election. Right now, there are so many things out there that uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the upcoming months. So I'm not by any means declaring Joe the winner. All right, before we start, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We do a lot of things on the channel that include politics. We do a lot of stuff on firearms. Uh, we learn together. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it's it, what I like to do is I try to make things interesting uh, for all people who come to this channel. So subscribe, hit the bell. All right, let's talk about this. What policy am I talking about? I am talking about the Protection of Law for Commerce in Arms Act. Now, let me brief you guys on exactly what that is, in case you don't know. Because this, I think, through the lies that they are saying, this is probably one of the easiest ones for them to uh, swindle through. But let's talk about this. The Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act prohibits a qualified civil liability action from being brought in any state or federal court against a manufacturer or seller of a firearm, ammunition, or a component of a firearm that has been shipped, transported in interstate or foreign commerce or against trade association of such manufacturers or sellers for damages, punitive damages, injunctive or declaratory relief, abatement, restitution, fines, penalties, or other relief resulting, resulting, now this is the key point, resulting from the criminal or unlawful misuse of a firearm. Okay, so basically what this does is it protects the manufacturers from lawsuit from a criminal who either obtained their firearm illegally or used it in the act of a crime. Okay, this also, and moving forward, excludes from the such prohibitions brought by a directly harmed party against the person who transfers a firearm knowing that it will be used to commit a crime of violence or drug trafficking crime brought against a seller for negligent entrustment or negligent per se in which a manufacturer or seller of a firearm knowingly violated a state or federal statute applicable to the sale of marketing of the firearm. So basically what this says, guys, is that unless the manufacturer knowingly sold this firearm to a criminal or someone who was going to use it in a crime or knowingly was unlawfully able to possess a firearm, they should not be held liable for that individual's acts while using the firearm. Now, what Joe Biden is saying is basically that they're the only industry that has this uh, exclusion. Everybody else is responsible for the use of their stuff. Well, let me ask you a question there. Um, basically, and we've talked about this before in the past, guys, but again, this is why I bring it up. This is the most dangerous one. If somebody goes out here and uses a box van to run over 100 people, was the manufacturer of that box van liable for that individual's act in the use of a crime? No, that's ridiculous. Now, this doesn't release that manufacturer from a malfunction of a gun or covering up the... Uh, use of the gun while it malfunctions or knowingly that the gun could malfunction and to cause harm or damage. But what they want to do is they want to be able to sue the companies. And this is why this is an avenue that they can take. They don't have to ban anything. They don't have to do anything. All they got to do is get rid of this and let the lawsuits happen. And this is why, like up in Massachusetts, the families of Sandy Hook, they were able to eventually go and sue Remington or whoever else, a Bushmaster. And the idea is that if enough people get together and they sue these companies, these companies will eventually go out of business, which will mean that you and I will not be able to go out and purchase the firearms of our choice. Very simple, very easy. It's a backdoor method, but by preaching to the general public, this is horrible because no other manufacturer in the country has this type of protection. When in fact, no one would re reasonably go sue Boeing 
if a pilot drove that airplane into the ground. Now, Boeing is being sued because they knowingly allowed too many things to happen with the 737 AMAX or whatever it was. Yeah, that's that's true. They are getting sued. So, Joe, you're a bold-faced, what is it, dog pony liar? That guy is the biggest <laughs> swindler I have ever seen in my lifetime, probably in your lifetime. But this is the reason why I believe that through lies, they may have the ability to pass something like this. It's the most disgusting thing in the world, and that's why I say that this is the most dangerous of his policies because there is the potential that it could pass through the lies and influence that they have over people who are weak-minded. So just think about that. For you guys, please let me know what your thoughts are down below. Man, that thing looks, looks like I got something growing out of the side of my head. Yeah, I got a haircut. And no, I haven't lost any weight. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Yeah, this is a good one. This is the one that I think that they'll, they'll try to get through. Protection of Law for Commerce and Arms Act. Signed under George W. Bush. Y'all be good.